thing is holding this thing there's got to be a way to set hold this thing steady but anyway um I have run into something I'm trying not to get my hopes up the guy told me I could have them as they dig them out and it's brass And uh, they make these darn things. These are brand new. But they got defects like in the thread or something. And they're going out of business. And they're trying to deplate their stock. These are brass. I've got about 20 of them from him so far, or 20 pounds of them. And I don't know how many pounds of them little air connectors I got. But it's going to be a heck of a brass score for me. How do I stop that? Yeah, this stuff. I was just trying to heat a piece of that and my torch kept going out, but there's several different kinds of these. I've seen a bunch of these. I used to go over to, well, I still go over to Swinger Brothers when I need something, but I've seen a bunch of them over at Swinger Brothers. But this place, I don't, they're getting that stuff in by the drums full. And if they don't pass inspection, they get chunked. And they're going out of business. And this guy's telling me that I can have all these rejects if I want them. So I'm going to get them. So I'll come by. I'm going to go by a couple times a week with some buckets and get their rejects. And... Like today, I got, uh, I weighed them out. I got 18 pounds of brass, you know, mixtures of this stuff and this stuff. And um, there was also some um, steel ones in there, which I'm not putting in this back because they're steel. They ain't going to bring much. But these here, this is brass. I don't know what brass is a pound now, but I'm fixing to find out. Um, how do I reverse this darn screen? It's not magnetic, it doesn't do sparks, 
Somebody said white brass. I don't know what the heck white brass is. So, am I jumping for joy? Because according to this guy, uh, that's giving me this stuff, he said they get anywhere from 15 to 20 pounds of rejects a week, sometimes more. He told me it's brass. Now I know those other pieces, those air connectors and stuff, I know those are brass. But this here, I don't know. I thought it was till I cut into this. Um, oh man, I don't know, does anybody know about this, uh, it's not magnetic, it's heavy, that piece, lowered it weighs, That piece weighs two and a half ounces. I don't know. I know it's not. Not shooting off any sparks. Any of my subscribers know what the heck that is? Or my viewers, I don't know about them. I got a lot of subscribers, I don't think they're even watching me. But, anyway, this video's kind of, that ain't really messed up, it's just, <laughs> Part of it was taken with my, 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 uh, phone, smartphone, it's a Samsung, and I'm just now figuring out how to transfer that stuff from that <laughs> to that computer. So if you notice some of the images are real sharp and some aren't, the ones that aren't are with this stupid camera I paid $150 for. And the images on the phone is a lot better. Whew. At any rate, I'm going to upload this video. But they're going to be running about six more weeks, so if they keep coming up with the scraps they're coming up with that I can have, that's going to be over 100 pounds. So that's going to be a major brass score. But if it's stainless, not so much. I don't know. Don't make no sense to me. They sure sure got some weight to it. <clears throat> Anyhow, I'm gonna get this video up. Now <laughs> these things 
One of these things weigh, hold on a minute, let's see what we got here. One of these weighs, well, I, I can't reverse. One of these weighs three ounces. So guess what? My God, boy, 16 ounces in a pound, holy crap. I may out more that one's hot. But anyway. Oh, gosh dang it. Mm. Keep burning myself. I don't know if I ought to be fooling with this stuff. We're not there. That one's not hot. I'm going to have to embed. That's what I meant to get me today with a pair of gloves. But I didn't do it. But anyhow. Brass score. Yes, sir. Appreciate any input I can get on this. And those magnetrons, um, these things here with that solid copper core there. It really intrigues me. <sighs> but we'll see. Oh, and I got another place that pours lead. They mold different lead things. They mold them, pour them into molds and stuff. And they have gone out of business. And they're looking for somebody. I haven't seen it yet, but they claim there's a lot of stuff that gets spilled or something. Maybe it runs out of the mold. I don't know. But it's on the floor and on the ground. And he won't know if I want it. If I'd be interested, they'd give it to me if i clean it up. So they were operating there for about 20 years. So they'll be moving the machines and stuff out of there. And he said when they get that out, if I want a shot at it, let him know I can come over and get it. And lead sales were... A pretty good penny, I understand. I'm not sure I've checked prices. But, um, that's another thing. I seem like I'm running into some stuff like this. It's kind of not, well, it's scrapping, but it's stuff I had not went out looking for. I just stumbled in, accidentally stumbled into it. You know, somebody said something and I asked about it and that's how this brass thing come up. <sighs> and this thing with the lead. And if, and if it's and if it's really dirty lead, you know, it's fell on the ground and stuff, and it's got dirt in it, I can melt that. I I can I can melt the lead down and come up with clean lead, you know. So. Anyhow, you guys have a good one. If you like the video, please say you like it. And leave some comments. Um, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And if you subscribe, why not look at the video some? All the design. These, these fins, I used to rip them off with a pliers till I discovered that I could cut into that thing down to that copper core. Well, you see what I'm talking about.
peeling them off. I wouldn't go through this much trouble with just one, but I, if I save these up and you know those tank things that you can Harbor Freight's got them, it's got gloves that goes in there and you're I think it's for sandblasting or something. I'm wondering if I made something that was contained and that would hold that and then just cut them loose and how everything can be filtered where you wouldn't be breathing any of that beryllium. The later model microwaves don't have beryllium though, so I've been told. But right now, I wouldn't take that to the bank. But I'm just saying, and these, these things are about three ounces each. Um, of course, that's aluminum. This will go in my uh, bucket. This here, you know what, I want to fuck pull that. I never, Throw that in my motor box. And we're fooling with. Now. You know. Um. This is part of a magnetron. You know, I've already took the. Here's another one I hadn't took all the fins off yet, but I, what intrigues me about these things is this centerpiece right here. It's about an inch, and it's a solid piece of copper, and it's got some weight to it. I'm hoping that's focusing in. I hate this damn camera. But, and I haven't broken the ceramic part, this part right there, and I think this part right here. But I'm going to try to come up with a, with a safe way.
to um, dismantle them things. I, in the past, I before I knew about the beryllium, I was I was cutting that damn copper out of there. I don't think I breathed any of the dust. Um, I don't know if skin contact has anything to do with it or not. But I'm definitely going to do it. But I want to show you how I get these fins off. These are the only two I have left. Let me mount this camera back. I went to Harbor Freight today. Bought me a bunch of little tools for depopulating these boards. I'm really going to go after it. And, uh, I didn't spend much, you know. That's, that's some right handy. I needed some stuff that um, these long needle nose things and then the curved needle nose. Then I got the little needle nose and all these Torx uh, drivers. And I think they start at T10. Not sure. But damn, that burns. Whoa. Son of a gun, that's about the fourth or fifth time that... Well, the heat gun burnt me that time. This time it was my torch. I'm getting too careless. Too careless. Man, that burnt the crap out of my hand. But it just spit it. I guess there was a little bit of that. How oh, I think still a little bit warm, but I'm just wondering now if that's if that's lead. I'm gonna try it again, but I'm gonna point it away from me. See it spitting it out there. I don't know if that's lead or not. It's that lead. I don't think it is lead. Cause lead, I've got a piece of lead here. Lead's supposed to melt pretty dang easy. Get my tool. I don't think that's lead. Let's see what this does. Wonder why that keeps shutting off. Well, that going. It. Yeah, see, that's melting. Yeah, see there, that's melting. See that lead coming off of there? Yeah. Well. Quit trying to salvage everything, thing, and that's what I'm doing. I am finding out that this camera is much cleaner, shows more detail than that piece of crap right there. I paid almost $160 for that damn thing, and it hardly ever stays now. I have been, this is on my camera, these things, that was some medication I had for my legs, and these things, I know toothbrush 
toothpaste tube and stuff used to be out of lead, now they're plastic. But these appear to still be lead. I mean, they're soft and bendable. I'm gonna throw a torch to one of them right quick. See what? See what happens. See if, if they melt. I, I'm assuming they will. Some of that hot metal, oh, on the top of my hand. Son of a gun. Stupid. Yeah. Done that by, let me see if that's gonna leave a place. Ah, uh, probably. I don't, yeah. Burning right there. 